Hey there YouTubers, Digger coming at you with a vinyl update. We've got uh, everything right here ready to be covered for the uh, up there on the sides in the dome light area. We've got the black vinyl all cut and trimmed and everything ready to glue for the to finish up the front wall. I've got two of these to do. These are for the left side and the right side. Those will be covered in green with this right here, which I've already got cut and trimmed and everything. That little piece of black there, that's for the sides of the front wall. And then I've got the, the two little pieces for the, uh, the diamond pleat for the front overhead part and the regular black vinyl for the front part of the front wall. And All right, everybody, so the very first thing we have to do before we can do anything is clean out the gun. This gun I use for, uh, never for paint. This one's strictly for glue. But, uh, every so often you gotta clean this crap out of there. Gotta get pliers to out. Something else I was gonna tell you is if you do want to brush paint this stuff, absolutely fine. I do it every once in a while. But you buy these cheaper little brushes and they're basically like a one-time use. And once you use it, that stuff hardens up and there's no way to clean it. Best thing I've found, when the bucket starts to get low, just drop it in the bucket, put the lid back on it, cap it up and everything. Next time you go to use this, it's still going to be nice and soft because it's saturated in the glue all the time. So just a little helpful tip, a little bigger tip, to make your life a little easier. Alright, so for demonstration purposes, we've got two sections out here ready to be covered. The uh, white side is what I am covering, so you turn these upside down. All of it, you turn it all upside down, pack it all together and everything, that way when you spray the, the glue, you're not getting it all over the table and everything like that, so uh, it just makes life a little bit easier. So these two are ready to spray glue, so let's do that. I did have to tear this thing way down. I just spent, well, last hour and a half probably completely gutting and cleaning this gun. What I did find out dissolves the glue. It is my favorite product of all time, Goof Off. Soak the stuff in Goof Off for three or five minutes and uh, it just turns to gel and you can just rinse it out. So, all right, gun cleaning and everything, so let's see if it'll spray some glue. Did a little test pattern and it actually worked out good. So. I'll tell you what, what gummed up the gun though, uh, this glue is great. But if you leave it open just a little bit too long, it starts getting a little thick. And I only have an inch left in the bottom of that gallon, and it got thick on me. So when I poured it in the gun, the gun couldn't shoot it. Now I went to a fresh gallon. I didn't even do a fresh gallon, and that's why she's shooting good. So these harbor freight guns are great, but good. You got to make sure you get it on right. Excuse me. And this is why I cut these down so low. I've done these before and done them in eight foot sections and I'll tell you what. That's a little bit of a pain in the butt. Oop, be careful. That stuff will stick to itself. Yeah. See what I mean? There's 
the old days would say, that's one ray, baby. That was a TV show back in the 70s that had a funny little skit. It was kind of like a Saturday Night Live thing. But uh, they used to say that all the time. You get on the, I think it was. That lady that played in, uh, you know, that's not, that's not going to work. Lily Tomlin. Whatever that show was, she was on in the 70s. Whatever that show was. Yeah. Oh, okay. I just don't say it. Whatever that show was, though. Willa Tomlin calls somebody on the business phone and has the phone rang on the other end. She'd say, One ring, Vinny. Two ring, Vinny. I guess that's showing my age, though. <laughs> kind of like when I go to Lowe's and I use my, uh, my business card to purchase something and they say oh do you have a PO on that I say yeah BR549 they actually start typing it in it's like no man <coughs> people won't remember junior samples phone number BR549 from E Hall back in the day and there's two started I'll go ahead and shut the camera off and I'll get the other four ready. Then, uh, once I get all four of them this far, then I'll go back and I'll spray a little bit more around the perimeter of it and I'll start to do all my coats on it. So, all right, everybody, time for another digger tip. When you're cutting vinyl and you're doing the corners, if you cut the shapes like this, then apply your glue, and pull this corner back first, pull it a little bit nice and tight, and then when you fold these over, you end up with a really nice corner. So let me show you how that's done. Now the front sides of these are already all glued, everything's all good to go that way. So now we're just putting glue around this, you know, about this much of the uh, perimeter of it because there's no sense in gluing all this because obviously nothing's going to be over there. So let me glue these up and we'll do, I'll show you how we do those corners. Alright, now we're going to give this just a couple minutes to kind of set up. Alright, so I've already got the first one taken care of and everything, so now I'm going to show you how you do these. The very first thing you want to do, you do not want to fold these in and then this. You have to pull in the ear first, hold a little, you know, a little snug, press it in. Remember this glue is pressure sensitive, so as soon as you add pressure, it's stuck. Back here in the middle, I always like to start in the middle, work myself out. That way I can make sure I've got the vinyl in there good and tight. down in there, and there is, that's good to go. Now, if you have uh, tighter radiuses like this, you want to make a couple of leaf cuts in there. You don't want to get up here too close to the wood because when you wrap it around, you might see that. So, stay about a quarter inch away when you pull that to do that. And then, what I usually do is start at the, the lowest dip, pull and stretch, pull and stretch, and just work that around. Another thing I do, whenever I know it's going to bunch up, 
I don't let it bunch up real big. I'll spread that bunch out to a couple little different spots. Because if you bunch it up too tight, then uh, when you go to mount it to the wall, it's going to stick out away from the wall. It's not going to look right. So like right here, we've got this big old bulge that's not working correctly. So start in the middle, pull and stretch, put a little bubble, pull and stretch, little bubble, pull and stretch. Just do that and work yourself around. Even a big bubble like this, you've got just a few minutes, you can pull it back. And we do that. Here first. On the stretch, on the stretch, on the stretch. You ever have an upholstery guy tell you the price on something and you say, oh, that's too high? Look at what all he has to go through to get that done for you. Alright, so, got that one all covered. Like I say, pressure sensitive, so I like to flip it back over and just press the whole thing, go around the edges, press it down. Because if it's not stuck right on the edges, it'll leave a little bubble, and it looks funny. But, when it's all said and done, you've got nice corners where there's no no little divot showing or anything like that so that's how I cover panel boards that's Digger's tip of the day all right so there you can see we've got our our six pieces for the ceiling all cut and covered and everything ready to go and behind that are the the two boards there those are for the front wall the front of the front wall and I still have these down here. Where do those go to? Oh, that's for the other side that's still out in the bus. I have to bring in and cover that. Blah, 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 blah. Sometimes I get confused. Well, who do we have out here? Say hello, Miss Crystals. There's my outdoor cat. You're a gorgeous girl. She lived in the house for 13, 14 years. And then I brought Doc home. Her and Doc cannot get along at all. So she has made the preference to live outside. I've got a nice little box right here that keeps her food and water. It's also got a heat light in there. So oh, I put one of my Yuffie cams in there so that I can keep an eye on her. That's my little Crystals, little gorgeous girl. All right, Crystals. See you in a little bit, Crystals. Good night. She's a good little kitty. Too bad she doesn't like to be inside. Doesn't seem like the cold's bothering her. Oh, and look who's look who's came over. He wants out that door to to attack her so bad. She just likes to come up here. And Tease him a little bit. Crystals! <laughs> you want some of that, don't you, dog? Nope. Stop. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is I'm getting ready to cover this back section where the cup holders are. Obviously, the, the seats will be on top of here, so we don't have to worry about covering that with green, but we want to make sure that there's enough of it covered with green here. Now, this is an eight foot piece. I could have cut this in half and made it a little easier, but I didn't. So, both sides have eight foot pieces that I have to do this to. But, what I'm doing is, I don't want to, see if I can explain this a little bit this way. These are gonna overlap. I've done this in the past, and no matter what you do, that seam shows up severely. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to glue the back side of this. I'm going to fold this over and make a real nice uh, edge. And then I'm going to, you know, use that pressure sensitive glue 
to make that go down and be really nice and flat and it'll leave a really nice edge and then once that's done then I can glue it to the board. So let me go ahead and shoot a little glue on this edge right here that way I can show you guys what I'm talking about. I'll tell you after I clean that glue gun out. So I've given that three or four minutes to set up. So what I'm going to do, that, do now, I, I took a 90 degree edge and I cut a piece of this off. That way I have a nice straight edge because you don't want a jagged line because this seam is going to show. So just take this, line it up, press it on. I say it's pressure sensitive, so. that on there, squish that crease down as good as you can. Now when you turn it over, it's going to have a really nice edge. So let's go ahead and glue this board up and I'll get the first piece stuck on here. What I did though is I brought these down and I drew a line, just a quick straight line across here or whatever. That way I know where to slide this up into. And then once I spray, spray the glue, I'll be spraying both surfaces, but it's not getting on this surface because there's no reason to glue this. So we'll just do that, set it all that up, and now I can lay the glue to it. This place is actually good. So I just threw out just enough glue in here to do this piece. Normally you should let this sit a little bit longer than this, but it's already got the stickies to it. It says stick me, Danny. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Again, pressure sensitive. As I get it where I want it, go around and push it all down. That way it's stuck good. I'll take my cup holders, make sure those are covered good. Now something else I'm going to do because when I glue this in here, you're going to see that little bit of a seam. So I'm going to come in here and just cut this nice and straight. I'll tell you what, I'm going to do something a little bit different because I've got a cup holder right here. If I trim that back a little bit, I'm going to cut into the cup holder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop back it over here just to make sure I'm in the clear zone. but I do not want glue getting on this. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna flip this one over, lay it right on top of that one. That way when I spray it, I'm not getting it on that surface. Actually, I can get it on a little bit of that surface because I'm gonna, you want these two to glue together. So we're gonna offset those just here. They have a glue gun, where do you go? All right, loaded, locked and loaded, ready to rock. more glue on this. I didn't even spray that part. You must spray both sides of this stuff otherwise it will never stick together. This glue is so great because of the way it sticks to itself. Okay so we've got this yeah got that glued up so 
clean that up as good as we can. Hey, that was pretty good. pressure sensitive stuff we're pushing those all that stuff down in there good that way once it's stuck it's stuck now on the edges I'm gonna wrap these around but up here on the top I'm just gonna cut that flush with the wood so once this is all dried any extra glue that's still on there a uh, a hot hot water rag with hot water It'll actually clean that, that glue up, so I, I don't worry about it. So now I just have to flip this, staple the sides, and this, and then I'll uh, go in here on the cup holders. And I'll go in here in the cup holders like this and cut eight slots. That way then my cup holder will sit right in there. I don't even worry about pushing those those little ears down and wrapping them around or anything because the cup holders have a, a nice little lip on them all the way around and the way that lip is it just uh, covers all the stuff and plus I make my cup holders pretty tight now back in the day I didn't and lost a lot of cup holders because they would stick to the cans whenever you pull the can you know, can or bottle out of that cup holder, the plastic cup holder itself would come out with it. Next thing you know, that was in the trash. But I went to a different diameter cup holder uh, hole saw that makes these to where when I put the cup holder in, I actually have to take a slug and put it in here and tap it with a hammer to drive it down in there. So they're good and snug in there now. Now all I have to do is put it up and stick the other side. there we have the one side at least the other side still in in the bus I have to go out there and remove that but we've got a nice little seam right there now all the cup holders cut this piece is ready to install and hey youtubers don't forget to hit that little subscribe button and maybe even that little ding ding bell thing that way you get updated and you know what's going on right after I do it so uh, tune in, there's more to come. The party starts here.